On first take today, Carmelo Anthony said that after the 2006 season, LeBron and Wade advised him to sign a shorter contract, a three-year deal at that time, to enable a potential big three in 2010. Melo opted for extra years and money with Denver. Ramona, what if Melo had joined the Heat instead of Chris Bosh? What would that have looked like? Ooh, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know that he's as much of a fit as Chris Bosh was because, as we've talked about many times in the show, somebody had to be willing to take that third spot, and Chris slotted in there pretty well. I don't know that yeah. Melo would have done that. Chris sacrificed the most of everyone. Uh, Eric Spolster <laughs> always labeled it this way. He said LeBron is the best player, Dwayne is the heart of the team, and Chris Bosh was the most important player. Uh, Tom Haberstroh illustrated years ago how he yeah. went from being a guy who didn't play defense to a very well in Toronto to a guy who became the best pick and roll defender in the league for several years. There so, was some discussion though also about a big four, not just yeah, Melo. Uh, all right, there was a time for that, that and there was a time where, amazing. where Chauncey Billups almost joined the Heat. Melo would have a championship ring though. Had that he, maybe one, maybe one. I don't know if they win two, and I don't know if they go to four straight. I, finals. I don't know that, but they yeah. would have won one. They would figure he, it out. He would have. He probably would have had yeah. one. Yeah. All right, back to our lead story. Pelicans GM David Griffin recently spoke to Sports Illustrated and was quoted as saying that winning the 2016 title in regards to LeBron, now he wasn't the same animal after winning. After taking some heat, here's how Griff <laughs> clarified those comments earlier with us here on the show. I failed miserably in getting everyone to the right sense of urgency following the championship. And my belief at that time was there's no way anyone can be born in Akron, Ohio, deliver the first championship in 52 years to Cleveland, Ohio, and be the same human being. It's, it's not possible. You're a person. You're a human being. And my fear at that time was that he wouldn't have that same animal-like desire to win. And what we've seen, obviously, is he's gone to multiple finals since, so it was an unfounded fear I had at the time. So, Dave, was that a satisfying answer there? I mean, yeah, he, he had to let it be clear that he wasn't using this platform just to take pot shots at LeBron. It wasn't about that. Right. It was about trying to acknowledge like what, what's real and the real feelings that he had at the time. And then knowing that once you put that stuff out there, it can get picked up by everybody else and you can't control the message again. And, and I think that he learned a lesson that <laughs> it's, it's very uh, yeah. tough yeah. To, to spread the right message uh, when all that things exist right. around yeah, LeBron. Look, he did a good job of trying to clean up the mess that he made the other day where that, yeah. that happened for him with those quotes. Um, but I didn't hear the name Dan Gilbert and I didn't hear the word, I'm sorry. I don't know. Interesting. He said um, I did a bad job. Okay. I think he does feel bad. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights and analysis, check out the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, check out ESPN+.